What's going on guys, it's Alex here with a review of Chainsaw Man Chapter 141. And I gotta say guys, this felt like one of the fastest chapters we've had in a while. Where on the surface, a lot hasn't gone on in this chapter, but in the background, a major storm is brewing that'll force Danger to make one of the toughest decisions that he's ever had to make. Chapter starts off with us seeing Denji going on his day outside of school with Nayuta. The first thing I notice are the buns that are really popular at the beginning of the story that were made for Chainsaw Man are half off. And this is just a small thing but it shows us that Chainsaw Man's overall popularity is beginning to dwindle within the public cause we saw the beginning of the story where there are multiple companies selling Chainsaw Man merchandise like crazy versus now that they had to sell it half priced off. And this could be for a variety of reasons, two of the biggest being is how controversial Chainsaw Man has actually become because of the Chainsaw Man church, but also Asa's popularity. Because throughout the chapter, Dainty goes to the grocery store and we actually see a poster upon poster of the Chainsaw Man church recruitment posters and it almost feels like if you look at them from the left going to the right, Chainsaw Man is slowly fading into the background. Where Asa is coming more and more relevant in the public and just generally more liked to them as well. And we see this in full display because when Denji and Nayuta are walking home, a fish devil appears out of nowhere and Denji looks the happiest we've seen him in the last four chapters and he's actually about to reach for the pull cord. But then we see members of the Chainsaw Man church actually jump this devil and it really does remind Denji of just how irrelevant Chainsaw Man has become to society because He's now realizing that seeing his kids that, you know, Chainsaw Man really isn't needed anymore given that they have enough devil hunters in Japan to actually handle a lot of the situations now. And seeing this causes Denji to sink back into his expression, slouching down. After spending some time with Nayuta and the dogs eating, watching TV, bathing, and brushing his teeth, we see that Denji is still wide awake contemplating what he really wants out of his life. On one hand, he's looking at Nayuta, who's the last person he has who he considers family, and he made a promise to Pachita to keep safe and to give her a normal life. And next, he looks at a poster of Chainsaw Man which represents his old life of fighting devils and just living more or less a lot more freer than he did previously. And despite all the pain and the tragedy that came with being Chainsaw Man and living the life that he did before, Denji enjoyed it much better than the peaceful one that he has now and you can argue and say that Denji is slowly realizing that he doesn't want to live a normal life or a normal life isn't what he thought it was talked out to be. And he's even scared of how he'll live a normal life because we see as Nayuta is sensing that Denji is still awake, she asks why you're still up. And Denji asks her, what's gonna happen to me in the future after I graduate high school and get a job? And then he asks if he would be happier or not. And this line felt very relatable because honestly getting out of high school and even out of college I asked myself the same question because a change like this is a scary thing no matter how old you are. And in Dingy's case he doesn't know what living a normal life really is and it shows just how warped in his mind a normal life really was from his perspective because he always thought that a normal life is better than the one that he was living with the Yagasa where in reality for a lot of people living a mundane normal life like Denji is living is it's pretty common it's pretty much how people really do live their lives i mean you go to work you just make enough money to be able to cover your bills save a little for maybe a night out at the steakhouse and i mean that's really it and it isn't really living but that's just the reality of how a lot of people really do live their lives and this could be future middles really his way of expressing this because i mean there's many cases of entertainment where it's often questions is it really living or are you just surviving when you're living a life like this? I mean, Zom 100, in my opinion, does this really well in like a short period of time of having a commentary about it, where it really goes to show that one selling man who worked so brutally, so hard just to be able to make ends meet, be able to enjoy the simple things in life, well, when a zombie populace literally came around, he was happier then when it happened compared to his old life, which... I mean, for him, the life that he was living, which would be honestly be considered a normal life, was just a living hell. And for Denji, in a way, it's just the absolute same. I mean, he hates his life right now, but because of Nayuta, it makes it bearable and gives him a purpose to live on. And it's why when Nayuta says, no matter what happens, I'll always love and be with you, he chooses her over his own happiness of being Chainsaw Man. And the way that Fujimoto really does show a lot of this without having too much dialogue, is absolutely incredible and it's pretty realistic when you think about it. 
But then we cut on over to Family Burger, which is actually the burger chain Kobani worked for, and we see the weapon doubles eating together at this restaurant. Where we actually see the Rip Hybrid and the Spear Hybrid are back in the story. I mean, even though we don't see their faces, it's pretty clear that it's them. We learn a little bit about the Chainsaw Man Church and how they really do worship Chainsaw Man as if he's a god. And apparently, during the day of the church's worship, none of the members actually fight the devils on that day. And the dialogue here is a bit confusing. It seems like that in order to lure Denji out and make him transform into Chainsaw Man again, they're going to stop killing devils on this day with the hopes that a powerful devil will appear or so many devils will appear that public safety and the private devil hunters can't handle the influx of the devils appearing due to the large number of civilians of the civilian population actually killing them off more than they ever have. And things take an even darker turn because it appears that the weapon devils are planning on pulling a no Russia on Japan. Now, you ever played Modern Warfare 2 or Modern Warfare 2 Remastered? You know what I'm talking about. And the craziest thing that Biram says at the end of this is, no matter how many people we kill tomorrow, God will forgive us. And this is making me wonder if he literally means God, or they're talking about Pachita, who technically is the real Chainsaw Man and is the Chainsaw Man that Biram likely worships. Because we know this isn't confirmed there may actually be a heaven in the world of Chainsaw Man because when the Ancient Devil had to take a life force from a civilian to give Denji blood to fight against Reze, he says, don't worry, you'll go to heaven now to this lady. Now, I think it would be silly for Fujimoto to introduce a new concept like this just with everything going on, but with how the story has been going lately, I mean, anything is possible. But let me know if the Rebel Nobles choose to pull a no Russia on Japan, who do you think will stand against them to stop them? Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.